Hey guys, what's going on? Coach Chris. I'm introducing a good friend of ours, Chandler Marchman. Chandler is uh, pretty awesome at a lot of lifts, but definitely really good on the bench press. In fact, we've done other stuff with him on our channel with the bench press. So he's uh, he knows his stuff. So I think you'll really like this. He's going to give you some tips on the bench press, but he's going to give you something else too. He's going to give you a bonus. A little something, a little free gift. So check out the description area below, all right? Enjoy the video. I know you will. It's all about the bench press. Chandler Marchman, go check out his YouTube channel, Go Elite SC. YouTube.com slash Go Elite SC. Chandler, take it away, buddy. What's going on, guys? Chandler Marchman here. As Chris mentioned, what I'm going to be doing for you today is sharing my top five tips, techniques, and methods for helping you blow up your one rep max in the bench press, as well as to make sure you're building as much dense, ripped, and powerful muscle mass as possible while utilizing this kick-ass lift. So without further ado, let's get to tip number one. The first tip I always make sure to give everyone wanting to increase their bench press and even to build more muscle mass in their chest, shoulders, triceps, and even upper back is to better prime your central nervous system. All right, this will allow you to recruit more motor units, which allows you to activate more muscle fibers for greater strength and size gains. And one of the simplest ways you can do that, that I found that's worked for both me and all of the guys in my gym and online that I've worked with personally, is to put together a, a couple sets of plyometrics and med ball throws, either or, that will mimic the same movement pattern that you're going to use while doing the bench press. This beats the hell out of just doing those damn windmills with a five pound plate and doing five minutes on whatever cardio equipment that you think is putting you in better position to increase your one rep max or to increase your body's ability to build more muscle mass while bench pressing. So here's a, a couple simple tricks that I use. Throw these in for probably about three to five sets of three to five reps. Rest about a minute in between, and I can guarantee you, you're going to see a huge difference in how well you feel and how fast you move the weights. Here's a great example of what I'm talking about. Doing four rounds of this superset of med ball throws against a wall, followed by plyometric push-ups, are going to be the same movement pattern you're essentially going to use in the bench press and will help stimulate your nervous system for faster, more powerful contractions in bench dominant muscles. Second tip I want to share with you is that you absolutely must pay attention to and master your bench press form if you're going to get the most out of your performance and aesthetic gain. So look, I don't care if you're a power lifter that doesn't give a damn about how much muscle mass you put on or you're a bodybuilder that doesn't give a damn about your one rep max. The simple fact is that you have to master your form in order to make sure you're keeping tension in the right areas when you're bench pressing. The simplest thing for you to do and the biggest thing I see people messing up with, I'd say personally is not retracting and depressing your shoulder blades while bench pressing. Keep them on the damn bench so that you have a strong platform to apply force into that allows you to keep tension in the right muscle groups. That said, I could go on and on for days about form, but I know Chris has got a ton of videos on there, so without further ado, let's move on to the next one before I get into a big rant. The third tip I'm gonna drop on you to increase your one rep max and to even build more muscle mass in all the right places is to increase the strength of your weak points. Patch up that shitty leak and root. Have you ever heard the saying that you're only as strong as your weakest link? It's really, really true here. And until you increase the strength of your limiting factors while bench pressing, then you're not going to increase your one rep max. I don't care how good your form is, I don't care how much you sleep or how good your nutrition is. You're simply not going to overcome your greatest weaknesses until you address them and make them more fortified. So here's the deal. Everyone has a point of failure. Everyone gets pinned typically in the same spot unless you're just messing with a weight that you have no business messing with. 
It's typically going to be either at the bottom, where it's your chest and your shoulders being the key points of weakness, midway at the top, where it's typically going to be your shoulders that are going to be the weakness, or for very few people, just because of how mechanically advantageous you are at the top, it's going to be your triceps. Either way, wherever you are getting pinned, here are the exercises that you need to start plugging in after your bench press that will help you fortify those weaknesses and help you push past those one rep max plateaus and even help you increase your muscle mass in all the areas that you're addressing with those weak points. Typically speaking, when you're failing at the bottom, you need to strengthen your chest, delts, and upper back. For this, I use dumbbell bench press, nothing big there, barbell pin press, which will allow you to create a lot of starting strength where you're getting pinned right at your chest, T-bar rows to better stimulate and work on your upper back for better stabilization when you're lifting heavy weights, and of course pull-ups, which cannot be denied for your quest for size and maximal strength. Now if you're failing midway up, your objective is to increase the strength of your front delts. For these, my two favorite are going to be a barbell overhead strict press and a dumbbell isolateral military press. And last, if you're one of the few that actually fails at the top or you're a gear lifter that benches in a bench shirt, you need to strengthen your triceps. And for that, you can do either barbell or dumbbell floor press, tape press like you see in this movement right here, or you can do close grip dumbbell bench, which I am a huge fan of for high reps. The fourth tip I want to share, and one that I honestly feel kind of stupid even addressing, yet is one that I have to give and remind people all the time, is that if you want to increase your maximal strength, if you want to hit a bigger bar bending one rep max, then you got to lift heavy on a routine basis. I can't tell you how many times I talk with guys that say they want to increase their max, but they're stuck doing the same 10 to 15 reps on the bench press all the damn time. Here's a newsflash for you. You're not going to get stronger unless you lift some heavy ass weights. So get used to programming anywhere from a 1 to a 5 rep max into your program if you truly want to lift bigger weights on the bench press. And the fifth and final rule that I always share with people, and one that's pretty opposite to the one I just gave you, is to not go too heavy too often. There's a rule that I follow called the 92 rule. It basically says that you shouldn't go at 90% of your one rep max for more than two weeks in a row while bench pressing, or for that matter, any other lift that you're doing, because you'll start to see diminishing returns on how heavy you're lifting and starting to see a little bit of a downward slope in the amount of increased force that you can exert into the bar. That means that you're essentially not going to be getting stronger and could likely even get weaker because of the stress that it places on your central nervous system. The simplest thing I can tell you about this is that what you need to do is when programming for heavy days, I follow waves that go from a five rep max all the way to a one rep max. So for five weeks, I'm prepping to get to that one rep max at the end of that wave. And before hitting that one rep max, I'll hit a five rep max, a four rep max, a three rep max, and a two rep max. Essentially, the heaviest weight I can bench press with five reps, four reps, three reps, and two reps before hitting that heavy, hopefully record one rep max in the bench press. Doing that will automatically make it to where you're not lifting at 90% of your one rep max for more than two weeks in a row and keeping you from hitting any of those pain in the ass plateaus that so many of us experience when trying to be a little too overzealous with the amount of work that we're putting in to our one rep max in the bench press. Hey guys, thanks for allowing me to share my top five bench press tips with you. I can guarantee you if you simply keep them in mind and plug them in before, during, and after every one of your bench press sessions, you're guaranteed to always put yourself in better position 
to see constant gains in your strength and explosiveness for your one rep max and a nice little side dish of increased muscle mass for your pleasure as well. Appreciate it again, guys. Have a good one. Mandler, out. That was awesome. Thank you so much, Chandler. I know uh, everybody's going to get a lot out of that. Anything that has to do with the bench press, increasing technique, and, and you know, increasing strength, anything like that is going to be fantastic. Guys, subscribe to Chandler's channel. It's a tongue twister. Go Elite SC. And don't forget to check out the gift that Chandler is throwing your way down in the description area. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you real soon.